of the questions that goes alongside being a girls only school is what if there were boys here? What if we went co-ed? So we've been asked the question, if you were to go co-ed, when would it be? Is there an optimal size of school, single sex or co-ed? And we've been asked, what's good about girls' schools? Can we discuss the fact that results tend to be better? So all of those things actually factor into the discussions that we have as SLT. At the moment, there is a move towards going co-educational. That's not something that at Morton we're discussing. Not that we're not talking around the issue, but we're not looking at plans to go co-education in the senior school. Schools that are tending to go there and have been there fastest are boys only schools. And for us, there's something about the old Voltaire quote. If we didn't have girls schools, I think we'd have to invent them. Girls at girls schools do better. They do better academically, they do better personally, they have more sporting opportunities. A girl at a girls school is five times more likely to play cricket. Now that might not be the be all and end all of education, but it's an important part of our culture, it's an important part of what we can offer to a young person. Girls and girls schools go into traditionally male dominated sports to a much greater degree of success that helps with university applications, but also just helps them to live a fit and healthy life. If we look educationally, a girl as a girls school is 2.5 times more likely to take further maths A-level. They are more than twice as likely to take computer science and physics. 40% more of them will take biology. 85% more of them will take chemistry. 88% more of them will take maths. That's just opening up opportunities to young women that are not clearly getting them elsewhere. Girls at girls only schools are the most successful key stage four GCSE cohort of any schools out there. Girls at girls schools at A level take the highest proportion of A's and A stars, nearly twice as many as the national average, and they take the highest proportion of A stars to C's. In fact, boys at boys' schools do better than boys at co-ed schools as well. So one of the things that we're missing in this discussion about whether or not we ought to be going co-ed to survive, is actually what's lost to those schools that go co-ed, because objectively, the boys at boys' schools and the girls at girls' schools are coming out with higher grades. They're coming out more prepared for top universities and arguably the professions that go beyond them. For us, there is something inherent about being a girls' school in the senior school at Morton that enables it to give these opportunities. It's a school very much where there is a high degree of autonomy. And that comes from the fact that within any of our classrooms, with any of our playground spaces, uh, with any of the productions that we're putting on, the fixtures that are being held, the recitals that are, are going on as well, in all of those things, girls are filling all of those roles. So wandering into lessons, you're going to see a lively debate going on and every single one of the roles in that debate is filled by a girl. Having experienced and worked for a long time within co-ed schools, many of which are fantastic, and this certainly isn't a pitch to abolish co-ed schools, what I have noticed over a long period of time is that typically boys will fill the louder, more colourful spots in a classroom, and girls will typically tend to accommodate that, or in a worst case scenario, are encouraged to accommodate that by staff that don't seize the opportunity to put girls front and centre. It's simply not an option at Morton, and it's not something we're looking to bring in particularly quickly. So for us, we think that there's a bright future ahead for girls' education. We think it's an objectively successful thing to be able to offer, and we think there's a bright future ahead for Morton as a girls-only senior school. And I'm hoping that that helps parents and agents to understand the benefits of why we're doing what we do. But it certainly comes out of spirited, informed and critical discussions amongst our SLT here. Thank you.